Adrian, and today I'm here to bring you my audiobook wrap up and recommendation number two. The last time I did one of these was in July of last year. I wanted to do one before now, but I didn't. So I have a lot of audiobooks to talk to you about today. Since July, I have listened to 34 audiobooks. See, I told you I should have done the one a little earlier than now. What I'm gonna do is go through these books really briefly, just mention to you which book I've read, and at the end, I'm gonna give you my top recommendations. I'm not gonna do plot summaries or whatever, because I have done them all in wrap-ups, unless, of course, I've read them between January and April, in which case, you're out of luck. <laughs> First up, we have Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvelle, and this one was narrated by a full cast. Then we have Shiver and Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. What We Saw and How We Lied by Judy Blondell. Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle, also narrated by a complete cast. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, narrated by Bonnie Turpin. The Simple Faith of Mr. Rogers, narrated by Amy Hollings. You Are Special, Words of Wisdom for All Ages by America's Favorite Neighbor, written and narrated by Fred Rogers. Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, narrated by Daniel Sherman. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire, all by Cassandra Clare. Wayward and The Lost Town, both by Blake Crouch. Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and Beneath the Sugar Sky by Seanan McGuire, Mr. Dickens and His Carol by Samantha Silva, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, Sadie by Courtney Summers, this one was also narrated by a full cast, The Wind Singer, written and narrated by William Nicholson, The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, Educated by Tara Westover, narrated by Julia Whelan, A Kiss at Midnight by Eloisa James, narrated by Susan Duran, The Hating Game, and 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, A Land of Stories, A Grim Warning, and The Land of Stories, Beyond the Kingdoms, written and narrated by Chris Colfer, The Secret Keeper Girls, The Power of Modesty by Dana Gresh, narrated by Georgina Marie, A Spark of Light by Jodie Picoult, narrated by Bonnie Turpin, This Savage Song, and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, narrated by Teresa Plummer, On Dumbledore Street by Samantha Young, narrated by Paula Costello, and lastly, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, narrated by Madeline Moby. Woo! Now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to my recommendations. I have five, I, had, I wanted to pick five of the 34 that I read that I enjoyed the most, so that if you're looking for an audiobook, you can pick one. I do have two honorable mentions. I did mention these either books in the same series or this audiobook narrator in my previous uh, video. By the way, if you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description box below for you. But my honorable mentions, so number seven, would be Waking Gods and Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle. These, like I said earlier, are done by a full cast. The first one, Sleeping Giants, made it on my top five, or top three, I think it was even top three, of my audiobook recommendations for last time. They're so intriguing. They also, I think, do better as audiobooks than they do as physical books because a lot of it is interviews, but they're not like um, multimedia books like Illuminae, the Illuminae Files were. So they're sort of more boring to read than they are to listen to. Listening to, they're fantastic. I loved listening to them. I would recommend them over reading the book actually, or at least do them, read them while you listen to them because it, they, it, they make better audiobooks. At least that's my personal opinion. The other honorable mention is actually an, a narrator and that's Bonnie Turpin. I know I've mentioned her before in my last video again, which is why I'm just gonna mention her quickly. I read The Hate You Give by her and also A Spark of Light by her and she always does the books phenomenally. I always enjoy them. So if I, anything that she produces, I'm more than likely gonna read. All right, so now let's go into my top five. I'm not gonna do these in any particular order because I did like them all and it's really hard to to judge an audiobook, I think a lot of it has to do also with what you're in the mood for, and a lot of it is very subjective. What what kind of narration do you personally uh, find interesting? So these are my top five. Starting off with The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This one was narrated by Katie Score. I'm actually interested in finding other books that she's narrated. I haven't yet done so, but I really enjoyed this one because the characters in this book are very spunky. First of all, I love the story, but this isn't about the story. Uh, the, the story was just, it was just what I needed to bring me out of a reading club. But the characters were very spunky and they had a lot of sarcasm and she read it with sarcasm, a lot of sarcasm. I feel like a lot of audiobooks, and I've listened to some duds, but a lot of ones that have sarcasm, 
The narrators can't always pull them off, and she pulled it off quite well. Next up is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is another full cast audiobook. This one, again, I think lends itself maybe better to an audiobook than an actual book because throughout the story there are podcast segments and these are in the audiobook actually handled as a podcast segment. It was a really great book, one of my favorites of last year. It was actually the last book that I read of the year last year and it still made it up to my top 10. I loved it, great story, great audiobook. Next up is probably one of my new favorite audiobook authors but as far as I can tell, at least what I've been able to find, she only really does Russian Empire inspired stories. That's The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden and this one is narrated by Kathleen Gatti or Gatti? I don't, I don't know. I'm terrible with last names as you all know by now. This one she definitely gave the very Russian inspired um, feel of the story with the Russian accent. It was just the Russian words were pronounced beautifully. I just I thought it was it was fantastic. This book is definitely a book that needs sort of this atmospherical presence if it's going to be narrated. And she definitely took this one home. She did a good job. I really enjoyed it. Then we've got Down Among the Sticks and Stones by Sean and Maguire. This one was narrated by Sean and Maguire. I love books that are narrated by the author themselves because they always are able to bring in that spin that you definitely wouldn't be able to um, get on your own or an interpretation that maybe you would have missed. They read it as they have intended it to be read, which is always interesting. I wasn't actually planning on continuing the series, but this one particularly convinced me to continue on with the series. And this one, actually, I, I, like I said, I wasn't planning on liking, and I, it was one of the favorite ones that I have read so far. And I think a lot of it has to do with Sean McGuire's narration. She convinced me to continue on with the series. And lastly, and I think this is probably my favorite one, but he hasn't done another audiobook, and that's Clockwork Princess. This one is narrated by Daniel Sherman, and he has a voice that I could listen to for hours. It's just, he's just got a very pleasant voice. I liked it and that's all I can really say. It's very biased but I I enjoy the sound of his voice which is very important when you're reading an audiobook. He's just a little bit of a swing worth of voice by the way so if you haven't read this one listen to this one on audio. So good! That wraps up my audiobook recommendations and wrap up if you enjoyed this video and you like to see more of these give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below what is your favorite audiobook that you have listened to because I'm always on the hunt for new ones. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!